this video I'm going to discuss the Troy Industries backup iron sights. These are the new style Troy Industries backup iron sights. They have changed the mounting mechanism just a small bit. Uh, most people probably wouldn't notice it unless you had the old style sights in your hand and these new style sights and you were uh, looking for differences. Um, these sites are also um, sold by uh, Spikes Tactical and Bravo Company Manufacturing. Um, both of those companies get these sites from Troy and put their name on it. So that says something right there. Bravo Company is still currently selling these sites branded with their name on it. Spikes has discontinued their relationship with Troy uh, from what I understand. They did this, uh, or they discontinued their relationship because of the change in the mounting mechanism. Now, I can't comment on if one mounting mechanism is better than the other. Um, Obviously, Spikes Tactical seems to think that this new mounting mechanism is not as good as the old mounting mechanism. Why Troy would change it uh, to something less reliable, supposedly less reliable, I have no idea. So, um, I've used the old style, and obviously I have the new style. Um, in my personal experience, I haven't had any issues with reliability or mounting or loss of zero or anything of that nature but that's my limited experience um, the the overall uh, construction the materials used the um, the the steel cross uh, bar locking mechanism uh, you know, all that's the same from what I can see. You know, the material it's made out of is, it's still made out of the uh, T6 uh, hardened aircraft aluminum. Uh, the finish is still, you know, mil-spec anodizing uh, and so on. There's just a small difference and um, I'll, I'll, when I take these out of the package, I'll, I'll kind of show you where the difference is. Um, I don't actually have a set of the old ones anymore uh, to compare to these, unfortunately. So I apologize about that. Um, um, for some reason, people went kind of crazy about the Spikes Tactical sites. So both sets I had, I sold um, because people wanted them more than I did. All right, so what are we looking at here? Um, these are the POP packaged um, sights, the M4 front sight and the um, dual aperture rear sight. Um, the, this is the new style, like the A4, M4 type of uh, front sight, uh, which I believe it's the same height as the standard M4 and it has the, the square sight post. So if you're used to, to an M4, um, uh, the sight is, is, is virtually identical to what you would, would have on your M4. Um, obviously these are designed for the standard uh, M1913 uh, Picatinny rail. Uh, these are not, these are designed for the same plane type of rail system. So if you've got a gas block that's with a, a rail that sits higher than the rest of the railing, these are not the right sites for that type of setup. Um, Troy has a different set um, that, that are designed for mounting on uh, raised gas blocks. Um, the install on these is, is real simple. Um, uh, a flat bladed screwdriver, or I believe a, uh, uh, an empty shell casing is, is all that's needed to install these. Um, Troy offers a, a limited lifetime warranty. The profile when folded is 0.475 of an inch. The rear sight has dual locking apertures. The design uh, of the sights exceeds military specifications. Uh, I mentioned the stainless steel cross locking system. 
which I believe will withstand 1,000 pounds of uh, force. Um, this locking mechanism uh, ensures that the sights stay upright and zeroed. Um, that, I think, is, is a real good sell point for these sights. Uh, I've used some other sights uh, that, uh, under extreme use, uh, the, the sights can be knocked flat and or the zero knocked off or broken. Uh, I've used some polymer type sights that have broken, uh, so I don't use those types of sights anymore. Um, made in the USA, obviously. <clears throat> this front M4 sight carries a, a part number of uh, SSIG FBS FMBT 00. The rear sight part number is SSIG-FBS-ROBT-00. Now, um, I picked this set. I bought this as a set, as a package deal from AIM Surplus for $149.95, uh, which I thought was a great deal for this type of sight. That breaks down to $75 each. I uh, subsequently went back, probably a month later, I was going to buy a couple more of these for, for different rifles, and found that the price is now uh, $180 a set. So I don't know if the original price was, well, I didn't, AIM Surplus didn't say they were on sale or on special. So I don't know if that was, they just decided to raise the price uh, up, or that was a mistake in the first place. So. Um, I thought they were a good deal at $149.95, 180 Yeah, um, uh, you know, I can't say these are the best sites on the market because I, I definitely haven't tried everything. Um, you know, I've used Magpul sites. Um, uh, I've used, obviously, Troy's. I've used the uh, uh, sites uh, uh, that are branded that spike sells. I've even used the Bravos. Um, I've used the Daniel Defense sites and a few other manufacturers. Um, and um, my initial thoughts are, well, for example, I like the Daniel Defense sites. I like those a lot. Um, those are great sites, and I think they're a great price. Uh, they're very well built. Uh, they hold their zero, obviously, and they're easy to adjust, but they don't fold down. So they're, you're always seeing those as you're looking through your red dot. Um, I, myself, I don't particularly like that. Um, my iron sights are for backup purposes. So unless I need them, I want them, you know, out of the way. I want to, I don't, I want to focus on my red dot. That's just me though. That's, that's just how I like it. So I, I prefer to go with, with a, a folding sight. Um, so I believe... That's all the notes I had written down here about these. Um, you can see the, 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 the packaging, um, which is good. Um, when you buy these from Spikes, they don't come in this type of packaging. They come in a little plastic bag, or when you, when you could buy them from Spikes. Um, the back of these just um, talks about how to install them. Talks about using a little bit of Loctite after you get them, um, you know, after you loosen up the uh, the bolt and you're ready to install them. It talks about putting some uh, Loctite or thread locker on it. Uh, they don't specify what type, um, but uh, I'm assuming that uh, you would use a blue Loctite. Uh, a red would be a permanent, so that's probably not a good idea. I would, I've used the blue, um, I use the blue on, on a lot of, of, of uh, different components on, on the rifles that I work on, so, um, uh, and I believe it talks about adjusting the front sight post um, using a, uh, a round, and talks about how to zero and how to adjust the sights. So let me take these out of the packaging and then we'll, uh, we'll take a look at them uh, up close. Okay.
first thing I'd like to talk about is the the only difference that I could locate between the old style and this new style. And uh, again, I apologize, I don't have a, a set of the old styles here because uh, it would make the explanation a lot easier. But you can, you can definitely do a Google search for uh, Troy Industry Sites or Spikes Tactical Backup Iron Sites. There's a few people that uh, have had these for sale and they've provided some pictures um, and you can use those pictures and compare them to uh, what you're looking at in this video. And you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So the, the main difference lies in this piece right here. Uh, as you can see right here, this piece comes down and then uh, there's the hook and this is what grabs on uh, the, to the Picatinny rail. This is the new style design right here. The old style actually had a tab right where the end of my pen, pen is and this tab kind of hooked under the sight. So there was the hook down here at the bottom and there was uh, another hook right up here that went underneath the sight. And Troy has eliminated that extra hook. That's the only difference that I can come up with uh, looking at uh, um, you know the old style sight versus this new style. Um, there could be some maybe there's some internal differences that I can't see, uh, but you know the the spring the spring tension for um, uh, depressing the, the, the button here to raise and lower the sight appears to be the same. The amount of tension it takes to push down on the pin on the top to uh, adjust the front sight post appears to be the same. The uh, screws, uh, you know, the shell casing or the flat screwdriver you use back here appears to be the same. The uh, all of the writing appears to be the same uh, on the on the front, on the rear. The uh, the the way the apertures um, the way the apertures move back and forth and uh, lock into place. Um, they look the same. They feel the same. The adjustability for, for windage back here uh, appears to be the same. Um, you know, I can't, I just, I can't, uh, I can't know, I, I don't notice anything else out of the ordinary. It's, it's, it's just this, uh, let's see if we can focus on this here. It's just this right here. I'll try and get a little close up of this I'm assuming my camera wants to focus on it right there on the old one is a little uh, an, a little extra metal piece that goes underneath sites kind of underneath the site so you've got the, the piece right there and then you've got this hook piece at the bottom that's really the only difference I've been able to uh, come up with um, I've used this new style set of sites um, out in the bush um, on a rifle that I crawl around in the dirt in sometimes uh, depending upon what type of uh, training I'm doing. I've used them uh, up, I've had them down um, you know one of the rifles I use doesn't even have a red dot on it so I, I use sights like this uh, pretty much uh, all the time and I haven't lost zero, they haven't broken, they haven't fall, f fell off um, but then again, you know, I'm not in the military, so um, my, my rifles don't see the same type of use. Um, because when I first got this, and uh, this, when I first got a set of this, these new uh, Troy sights, I actually thought, well, you know, this isn't good. Uh, it looks less robust. Uh, it's not going to hold up. They're going to snap off. And I mean, and the other side set I have on a rifle, I've whacked them a few times against trees and, and you know what have you, and and uh, they haven't uh, they haven't let me down. So whatever the reason behind the change, uh, I in my opinion, with my experience, I don't think the change has hurt the longevity of uh, the Troy Industry sites. 
but you know your results may vary um you know again um it's depends on how you use them i guess so um if you're on the fence about the Troys, um, I still highly recommend these these sites, even this new style, um, especially in in the in the price range that they're at. I think they're a, a, a very good value. Uh, I'd also like to mention that uh, I have noticed on Amazon and eBay that there does seem to be some fake Troy industry sites floating around. These these are T6 aluminum. And these are highly uh, high quality built um, sites. You know, you're you're not going to be able to buy one of these sites for twenty twenty five dollars. You just you're just not going to be able to buy one. You know, if if you found a set that was used or or one that was used and somebody was selling it, then yeah, you you might be able to save a, a good chunk of money. But brand new. You're not going to get these for for twenty dollars a piece or even thirty dollars a piece. Um, so if you if you see these, especially if these are coming out of Hong Kong or China, um, you know they're they're counterfeit. Um, you know, buy from the USA. Make sure that you're buying uh, actual Troy Industry sites uh, because you don't you don't want to buy. Uh, an inferior product and then it breaks on you and then and then you know and then what do you think you're like oh well Troy industry is makes garbage product and and that's definitely not the case so be wary of that um, I've also seen fake uh, magpul products um, magpul slings magpul sites and I'm not talking about the magpul PTS stuff um, we, we know you know that airsoft stuff is it, it is what it is for its intended purpose but there's there's sellers that uh, counterfeit the Magpul slings and, and the Magpul sites that are not P, that are not branded as PTS or branded as a legitimate uh, um, made in the USA product, and that's not the case. Because think about it, something that's made in the USA and it's coming from Hong Kong or China, yeah, that's a that's a red flag. So anyway, um, I don't have anything else to add about these. Uh, at, at this time. Um, fortunately, this isn't the, the first set of these new style sites I've used. Uh, I've got a couple of other of these uh, other sites. Of course, I bought these to replace the spike sites, which uh, I've sold. And I have not been disappointed even with the, the new design. So I'm going to wrap up the um, unpackaging and the discussion of the Troy Industries uh, folding battle sites, uh, front and rear, 